to the families and the communities, the two mosques in New Zealand. The first is to think about the rise of white supremacy. We must realize the seriousness of this topic. There are lots of small things that we can do to raise the profile of this community such that it leads on many of these issues. Issues that is clearly at the forefront of our leadership and needing leadership is intra and interfaith dialogue. For us to be able to express ourselves to the outside world, for us to ensure that the outside world knows who we are, and what proper Islam looks like, and how we consider the world, how much love and respect we have for every human being, it requires us as an institution to be able to lead on that so that other people hear from us. It is necessary for us to be able to talk about what is happening on the ground so that we are able to learn together as to how we need to respond to some of these issues. For example, we have a podcast. The podcast talks about the urgent issues that exist within the community and often talks about things that we haven't had a chance to talk on the pulpit yet or something that isn't very pulpit oriented. Just by our downloading it, just by our listening to it and sharing it makes that move up such that non-Shia, non-Muslims in the category of religious lectures also get to know that topic and get to hear from our community, our thinking. It therefore demands from us as individuals that we remain vigilant, that we no longer allow these things to perpetuate within our society and that we have our voice being listened to when it comes to local elections and when it comes to national elections that we ensure our vote goes to those people who have humanity's interests at heart and not those people who are scapegoating Muslims and immigrants from anywhere around the world. <laughs>